It depends, right? Because it's still super open with their draft. So there, there's no pressure on them to decide yet until they see what this next pick is. I think Nyx is really good for Viking. Um, like the Malaman's super Viking's good at all, against DP all points throughout it's the game. The Carapace is really nice against the Batrider as well. But yeah, they actually decide they want more catch and they want more team fight this time, which I think is a, a decent option for them. Uh, Aramis likes playing this position for DP. Uh, sorry, not uh, position for Disruptor, I mean. Yeah. Which technically could be said as DP. Disruptor? Disruptor? Kind of, maybe. Yeah, well, yeah. Ten okay. seconds okay. To go. I think they're probably going to pick their uh, their carry here Five in aggressive seconds. mode, I would assume. Um, they they could leave it until last if they want like the the win condition hero to be their last pick overall. They could just pick a five here or something. I think Batrider Tusk is a really strong lane. I think you put the Batrider as the three. Now oh, the other thing, good thing about the disruptor with the glimpse is that it cancels lasso. Yeah. If you do it like I, I can't remember what the I think it's like more than a hundred range Dire or something cancels dick. the lasso. So they, yeah, they actually okay they actually go for their win condition hero now though. It's pretty pretty crazy. Do you think this Medusa, because I've seen a lot of Medusas, obviously it, it, it's been a role that Medusa's played as well, you know, do you stick the Death Prophet maybe in the safe lane with the Tusk or and then stick the Medusa mid? Does it come down to like what Viking pick here or is this definitely going to be that to safe go. lane Medusa? I think it's more likely to be DP safe lane that with the t nice. like with the Tusk or the Bat like you said because I think the Medusa does so much better from the mid lane like with your ability to enter the jungle and things and just farm really quickly with the split shot. Um, I'd, I'd be surprised if they played the deuce in one of the side lanes. But again, like it's still really open, right? Yeah. Like you could put the, I mean, you, you could literally pick anything in your last pick here, as long as it, um, like it gives you a little bit more control. I think for aggressive mode, they could even pick something like Avenge just to finish their lineup off really nicely, just to buff up the deuce a little bit more as well. Because like historically, this deuce hero goes like late game, right? You look at that hero and you're like, okay, well, we just farm up on the deuce as long as possible, um, and then she just becomes this like late game monster but it's not really the way that deuce has played anymore like i think nick were kind of set the tempo with this hero a lot where they, the deuces go like manta rapier or like manta butterfly rapier yeah and they just they just end the game like straight away with an aegis pickup or something and dp kind of likes hitting that timing at the same time as well This like 25 minute mark where deuce gets manta plus one and they can just be really strong together as like a dual core lineup um, th this Queen of Pain pick I like of those. Well. I talked about they needed a mid laner that didn't just die to this rotation from the Tusk, and it um, it does okay against the Deuce mid as well because they want a hero that can invade the jungle and stop the Deuce from just free farming all the time. So this Queen of Pain can play really aggressively on the map, and the, the Lycan picks like still a flex between a three and a one for them as well. So, I I just I don't know how much I rate Queen of Pain as a hero overall. Yeah, it still feels like kind of meh to me. Well, is that not like you say the Queen of Pain? Just if it is up against the Medusa as well with the Shadow Dagger, you just slowly be able to bleed a mana away as well. Um, the the scream is it's a decent amount of burst. Um, I see. Yeah, I'm in the same boat that it's it was a great hero to a point, and now it's kind of just. I I think what the Queen of Pain does, a lot of other heroes do better. Uh, but she's kind of, it's like the old Wind Ranger, I think, you know, it's Ten kind of like the, she may not be the best at any one thing, but she's still got a Five good seconds. balance out of everything, if you know what I mean. You're like, she can split push, she's got great team fight potential there as well, you know, she's got gank ability, uh, if you can get the blink, if you can get an item, you know, maybe goes for something like the Orchid, um, to maybe find Dire kills onto the Bat Rider, uh, as Kunker is the final Dire. ban, and Anti-Mage. I don't know about this. I was going to say about the Queen of Pain, though. Her power spikes are really weird on the hero. Like, you hit level 6, you're really strong. And then, like, you get your first item timing. Maybe it's, like, an Orchid or something, and you're really strong. And then it's, like, this really low time before you hit level 25 where you don't really do anything. Yeah, I, I, I think this AM pick was, like, such a massive bait, actually. They 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 were, like, really happy with this, like, coming in. It's going to be DP. Uh, I wonder who plays the position 5 here. I assume it's the Bat Rider, and they put the DP as a 3. But this DP is so, such a strong hero at the moment. Like, it's really flexible with where it can lane. We've seen it position fours. It, it could be anything. Okay, so, uh, Nora, that's going to be the pause one Meepo. Like, it, it's such a good Meepo game. Like, if you look at Vikings lineup, they don't deal with this hero well at all. Like, this this Lycan, AM, Queen of Pain, both, like, like, they all take a little bit of time to come online. Yeah. They, like, they want... They want a little bit of uh, 
a time just to like farm up a couple of items before they fight. And if this Meepo can hit this timing, where like he just gets this E blade, like a re relatively good time, like the nets are just going to kill off the AM super quickly. Like these these two mobile cores that are normally really difficult to catch, and the Queen of Pain and the AM are just completely toast against this uh, Meepo net. I imagine the Queen of Pain's going to probably have to build a Yules to try and deal with it, but like even then, it doesn't help that much because the nets, as long as you time them properly, just uh, stop the Queen of Pain from blinking away before the animation comes through. Okay. With um, the Meepo pickup, do you, with Nora playing this, do you still play this in the safe lane, or is this, do, you, do you run this up against the Queen of Pain in the mid lane? I think you put the Meepo mid. Like it, it was similar to my point before on the Dusa. They, they could put it safe lane still. They could even run some like aggro tri lane with Batrider, Tusk, TP, and just run at the AM over and over again. Because yeah. Dusa and Meepo is like, heroes don't really need too much help. Like if Dusa's put in a 1v1 against Queen of Pain mid, and Meepo's put in a 1v1 against a Lycan, like the Meepo and the Dusa don't really care. They kind of do their own thing still. And if you can stop this AM getting levels, then I think it's pretty good. Okay, well, uh, there was a brief pause here on the draft, but hopefully we'll be in the game soon. And I, I guess you're leaning towards aggressive modes draft. Ah, uh, yeah, I would say so. I think it's a really strong Meepo pick. I um, I, I think like their three, four, five is also just a lot stronger as well in like these big engagements. This uh, Batrider Tusk DP. Like the the other thing as well with Vikings lineup is they don't really stop the Meepo and the Dusa from farming the jungle very well. Like this Queen of Pain has to have a really good start to the game yeah. for them to win. I, like Dyer's lineup it plays really well from in front. If this like and Queen of Pain disruptor can like get ahead and make plays on the map, but if they fall behind at all, like they they're gonna feel really useless. Ah, uh, okay. Well, the game start thing is broke. Uh, it doesn't want to work. Oh, that's fine. Oh, there we go. It, it is working. Whatever. The game just hates me today. That's standard. Okay, so Spartan and Nora in the safe lane up against Aramis and the Lycan. We've got Medusa in the mid lane up against what looks like the Queen of Pain. Me all the top lane. Scarlet's going to be doing a little bit of harass to Salary and Salary's going to be throwing it right back though. Shad just needs to walk himself away. So, Tusk. To you were talking about this. Tusk and DP. Is this going to be a hard life. I mean, because you've got Shad, Shad's going to be able to pick up the blink. Do you try and focus down Cube then? Uh, sorry, at Salary uh, with um, Cube's Tusk, you know, the, those Ice Shards to try and get the drains off as well. Well, the uh, I think if the Ench ever gets caught up position like level 2 onwards, she probably just dies, right? Yeah. But, uh, oh, that's going to be the tag team coming through now as well. The Drain's going to be the Salary. He's going to be able to get himself away. It's a whole lot of burst damage coming out. And this might actually be the first blood. One more right click. Skylark being the cool guy that he is. Doesn't even look to see it. He just turns himself away after throwing that little deathy orb that the Death Prophet throws. But that does mean that it's going to be three bounty runes going the way of the side of Viking GG. Shad actually went for the Mana Burn level one. And Cube has another tag team up. Not going to be able to get in range. Oh, does he get in range? He's actually a little bit faster. He's a whole lot faster, actually, yeah, the, with the boots. This is a point I was going to make. Like Normally, at level 1, this Ench feels really safe because she's super quick. But Keep has gone boots first, So especially with the slow from the tag team as well. like She just has no play. Yeah. And I think if the uh, aggressive mode can push this like lane in really quickly early on and get their level 2s faster, like this this AM has to be super careful still as well because all of, all of a sudden you get shards and tag team and you get the uh, level 2 from the Death Prophet on top and she just rips through you. Ooh. Oh, no, okay, uh, that's actually Cube's courier. I was going to say Cube's about to find himself a courier as well as a kill, but... um, So, May. this trend of uh, the, the position force, because uh, you saw it a lot. I'm surprised the Tiny isn't as popular as it is, because a patch ago, two patches ago, uh, not thinking oh. about 7.25, uh, Tiny was the position four. Boots Tan goes an award. Tiny feels really rough at the moment though, because they nerfed Toss, yeah. so that the cast range is a lot lower. Like the hero is still okay, right? But it's not anywhere near as strong as it used to be. So people have kind of just like started to move away from it a little bit. It's uh. I'm back. Okay, I'm having real issues at the minute, you know, with everyone being on lockdown, so everybody's using the internet, and... Yeah, top lane, though, Salary's gonna go for the TP, I don't think they have anything to stop this, the damage isn't gonna be enough. 
Um, and hopefully this everything's is, reconnected. Yes. This is really rough for the AM now, though, because he has no help in lane. And again, like, they're at this level 2 mark on the Radiant side. Yeah. But he has Blink now, so he shouldn't die, but he can't really farm in the lane. They're, they're just going to threaten him out completely. <laughs> Bottom lane, how's Nora doing? He's going to be gl glimpsed back underneath the tier 1 tower, so he's going to be taking a lot of damage from the tower shots now, as well as that Thunder Strike. And Lycan's chasing him out with the right clicks. The Wolves and actually back up. Well, he does have them back up if he wants to summon them. But Nora's going to be able to get himself away. Yeah. As I say, Spartan, the body blocks again, the wolves can't get in front of him, so Spartan's just going to be able to get himself back to the tower. And mid lane, Medusa is stepping right up. She's got that Mystic Snake. Is it going to bounce? It actually bounces to the creeps oh, no. and not the queen. That's really bad as well, because it just gives the range creep deny away. Like, if you hit that range creep once and then use the snake, it's a lot better, but it's a little bit of a misplay. Yeah, actually, I think hoping it, it drops like, uh, to. Uh, Queen of Pain. Queen is not going for the blink. Level 3 and 2 points into that Shadow Strike. Yeah, I think she, she probably had some kill through on the Dusa, is what I imagine happened. Yeah. So she, uh, she tried to be a little bit greedy with her skill build. Do you, as Coop on this top lane, once you hit level 3, do you go for the point into the Snowball just to stop the TP away from Celery? It looks like, oh, Ooh. other side um, of the shots. A bit of kill as well. Yeah, so he has gone for the, yeah, well, Okay, the, the blink away from Shad and the drain coming out from Skylark. So, yeah, he has gone for the snowball. Pretty much answered my question as soon as I asked it. Um, I think you usually go 1 1 1 on Tusk, and then you. Like, some people max out the shards for the cooldown, depending on what the lane is, but most people go for the, like, three points in tag team. Yeah. At least by level five. You don't usually go for the fourth point, I don't think. But uh, it depends on the game. Like, I've seen max snowball before as well, which is really weird, but. Yeah. Well. I mean, I suppose it gets into the fights, so there's going to be the ice shards no now as well. Him. There's no blink for a couple of seconds. Yeah, you're right, and Shad's going to be taking a lot of damage here. Now, Cube doesn't have the mana for a snowball, doesn't have the mana for anything. But that's not going to stop him from right-clicking. Meanwhile, in the mid lane, Aramis does have the haste. Sunlight is back, though, and I think he, show, he does show to the ward. So, uh, Sunlight just instantly back behind and underneath that oh. tier 1 tower. They managed to get the Lycan on the cliff with the flame break, but... Uh... Yeah, just TP back down again. He didn't have any way of cancelling it. Once again, eye shards come out. Yeah, Celery's just going to try and do damage because he knows he couldn't get away because of the snowball. Um, I mean, the, this AM has like three CS a minute because they can't fight into this Tusk's DP. Like, it's so strong. The made go, the pick up SSA, uh, SSA Spartan, sorry, picks up Aramis on the bottom lane. And Nura's pretty much getting uncontested farm as well as jungle farm here now as well. This is... It's just a classic Meepo game. Spartan runes are spawning here as well. Yeah, I was going to say, Spartan seems to be doing a really good job on the Batrider of not taking much of the uh, Meepo's XP away from the lane. Like, if you look at the level difference between them, there's like a level and a half. So, Spartan's doing a really good job of just trying to pull, you know, utilize the jungle as much as possible. Yeah. You know, offer this kill threat that he can on the Batrider without really taking anything away from the Meepo, which is my worry about, you know, putting him in the safe lane. If you're... This is a thing a lot of people do at, like... I don't know what MMR it kind of is, but even in like my games now, where people, the supports just sit in the lane all the time and they just like sap the XP, you know, and all of a sudden you're level four and you're carry the enemy's carry level six, and you're like, well, oh, never you, mind. You mean like something like a position four punch that sits oh, in the trees? The... <laughs> but like the, the position four first punch just feels like a grief, right? But like there's some supports that just go for it anyway. A top lane as well, they're going on celery again, but just yeah. some damage. No drain there from the DP and no snowball to be thrown out. It was a few mana short of a full snowball. Um, which sounds like an insult, but it's really not. As... I don't know if Skylark's looking to hold a point in the silence here on the DP as well. Like He's he's gone one zero two and he's actually level 4. So, Oh no, he's hey. gone drain the other way. He's he got, the gone. Is he going to be able to get himself away? He's not. Top lane, they take down Skylark and Keep wasn't there in time. It's... This uh, this Queen of Pain is level six, by the way, and uh, this uh, I feel like she just should just be trying to threaten the uh, Deuce in the jungle all the time. She puts a really nice ward down to see this to the Deuce's farm in these two camps on the right hand side of the lane. Yeah, but uh, like it's hit this point in the lane now where Deuce is level six and Queen of Pain is level six, but the you know the difference between the two heroes is Boom has like really good kill threat on her now, so Sunday has to play super carefully in the next few minutes. Like, uh 
Spartan's going to go and try and take the XP mid and whatnot. But, and, you know, one of the best things he could possibly do is just die here to a Sonic Wave. Just to let the Deucer feel safer. <laughs> oh, he might do it. I know Boom's going to turn himself away. There is salary being closed. Going to take a couple of tower shots here. I was going to ask you with Sunlight now. Oh, are they going to try and actually go for this? There's going to be the Mana Shield. Stormer comes through no now as well. Yeah, Queen of Pain still can blink for another nine seconds. Now the Mana comes through. There's going to be the Sonic Wave as well. But the damage is going to be there. It looks like they are going to be able to kill off Dooms. As you say, Spartan's going to drop. But Sunlight will get the kill. And this Centaur Conqueror just been an absolute pain in the ass. But Salary, though. Cool, Cube. You need to be careful, mate. All of your spells are on cooldown. Um... Yeah, so finally I can get some a question. You know, how dare they interrupt me with a team fight? Oh no, bottom lane, it looks like they're gonna try and make another go into Nora now as well. Nora's he's got no more Meepos to help back him up. Three. The chase is through, but Toby's only level four, so level six onto Nora, no transformation, no shapeshift, and Cube has rotated down. They might try and turn this one around. Yeah, they've got the mana for at least the eye shots. Eye shots are going to be there as well as the courier. The courier, are they going to be able to go for this? The net gets dropped. And now Disruptor, he might be able to get the kill onto Nora now as well. With that Thunder Strike, he does claim it. But they get the return kill onto the Disruptor. Toby being chased down with the Sticky Napalm. The blue comes forward from Chad. Chad's going to be trying to do the right clicks onto Keep. And Keep nice needs to, well, he's just teasing and uh, taunting his way away. Has those regen boots, but they're on cooldown. The Centaur Conqueror blocking a path. Keep, are they going to try and blink forward? There's not going to be a mana void now as well. And Chad into the trees, but Keep goes the wrong way and Chad it is just the blind lead Toby's the blind is Toby might but... goes down yeah the impetus strikes onto SSA Spartan SSA Spartan there is going to be another career there as well but it looks like he's going to be killed off with that stomp from the centaur gotcha it's, uh, to, be, uh, to be honest, this isn't actually that bad for the Radiant. Like, they're wasting so much time down here on the Dire side without really achieving anything. DP's taking the top tier one for free. They're completely uncontested. And Deuce is just farming away in the mid lane. So they're getting exactly what they want here. Right, so... About five minutes late, but I can ask the question now. Radiant. Unless, you know, another team fight breaks out. Right what going. level... Oh, cube. This is a full mana queen of pain. No blink for he the next nine so seconds. Well, really. Yeah, he's not got the mana. Those regen boots aren't going to be able to get him away. Is there going to be any TPs to help defend him? Maybe even Nora might be able to get the deny if he comes in close enough. Does he survive through this? The scream? Not going to be there. Actually, doesn't connect. Oh, boom. Don't think he saw the courier. I don't think that was a max range blink there. I think if you'd have max ranged it, he probably would have got the kill. I'm not 100% sure, but... I think you uh, might have thought you might have still been hiding in the trees instead of, like, all the way through. Yeah, I assume so. Um, so, finally. Medusa, I'm going to ask it quick. Medusa, what level did she get the, the stone gaze with this kill threat coming up from Boom? Is it still, like, around level 10, or do you think she picks it up a lot earlier? Oh. You either get it at 10 or 11, I think, usually. Unless there's, like, a fight just going on just as you level up. Well, speaking of like the fight, hit... yeah, the, the kinetic field comes through now as well. What's he going to be able to do? Medusa's still got that mana shield. Still got a lot of mana as well. As well. Boom going to be connected with the snowball. And the chase she got is really low. But she got really low, but she managed to get a level 4 snake off that hit, like, three different heroes and a creep. So she just it came back to her with full mana, and you, they just couldn't kill her anymore. She has range drops as well, so she's super tanky. No breaking through the Okay, well, Sunlight in the middle lane with Skylark. Skylark has that exorcism up in the next 25 seconds. Anti-Mage was able to get a kill onto SSA Spartan um, on the bottom lane, but it was uh, kind of a trade. Oh, he's got himself a tier 1 as well. So that, the Battle Fury, the timing is still there for about 16, Sunlight's 17 in minutes. Oh, he is now as well. An impetus to strike Sunlight. He's being body blocked up by Skylark, and that's going to cost him the death. And yeah, Skylark, exorcism, though, he, he does have the, the exorcism. He's going to be glimpsed back. Is he going to be able to get himself away? Because there's four or five heroes around, and Skylark won't be able to survive through that. Even the Ice Shards not pushing anybody away. I'm not sure why the Deuce is farming on that side. Like, yeah, like they're, they're drawing in the jungle now. Like, you see the, the Spartans, like. Um, circled them like you shouldn't be farming down here like this is where they control on the dire side because they've taken this tier one bot yeah you, like if you just come up and farm up on the top half of the map like there's no threat because we can control up there like we have this vision next to their outpost yeah they're pinging it out and everything okay well there's gonna be a smoke from viking gg oh they might be able to find nora here now as well but he's gonna be able to move himself away any follow-up on this because skylark's close and the other meepos will poof away but Sky, they don't have the vision, I don't think. Yeah, they don't have the vision on this Death Prophet. So they're just going to rotate through their own jungle, but not able to find anybody. And now it's a D Warden mission for Spartan, I imagine. But he's only got himself one um, one Sentry Ward. There is one down. It's not in range of any of the wards. Let us fight. 
So. I like. I really like how Viking are playing though at the moment. We talked about how they needed to be. And he made snowball comes in. There's going to be the, the magic shield though, and he is going to be able to get himself. Well, the snowball actually comes. Uh, I I don't. It's don't really know. weird. I yeah. Know. So, hey, I, I was just going to say, I really like how Viking are playing. Like They're playing super aggressive at the moment because they understand that this Deuce and Meepo both haven't hit their timing yet. Like yeah, This, do, this Meepo hasn't picked up his blink yet, so he's not that much of a threat. And Deuce has like, not even hit her first item, so she's not really doing anything. Yeah, about to hit level 10 off one more creep. Oh, Queen of Pain, they find Spartan, and Spartan might just go down. Yeah, it's going to be an easy kill here. And they get a glimpse as well on the do so like they're just taking them apart one by one at the moment they're they're making them feel so unsafe with how like quickly they're just uh, squeezing them out for the radio side cube uses the ice shards he actually traps himself in gets the walrus punch off but toby don't care toby just walks away and gets the kill with his wolves meepo's gone blink first here i think he has to like he has to make like massive plays happen with this blink because they need him to be like the big the tempo controller for the deucer to come online yeah is this it now with um because Dusa is literally a creep away from turn. Is, is this do you kinda of say to her, to him here that you have to get that stone gaze, we have to start looking for fights with the exorcisms, with the poofs. You're trying to take a little bit of map control back? It, I mean you can, but like both the talents the twenty percent evasion is really good on Dusa as well at ten. So if they feel like they're gonna have to take a fight in the next few minutes as well, they they should probably take Stone Gaze, but like, it's not how the Dusa wants to play, but he's probably going to have to be forced to do this game. Okay, they have the vision in the, the mid lane as well. They see Skylark rotating oh, around. Oh, Toby, this time you might not be able to get yourself away from this. The Warrus Punch comes through. He does have the, the shapeshift in a couple of seconds, but I think there's a lasso available. There is. They don't even need it. And that's a big kill for Sunlight as well. That's 500 gold for the Lycan kill. It's absolutely massive. And yeah, this Meepo is just owning with the blink now. I love that Skylark's going for some armor first. I think it's really important this game up against the Lycan. Otherwise, he just gets run down and dies every single time. Like, yours is really good on this area, but there's some games where you just can't afford to go for it first. Especially when you're playing offlane. Uh, Skylark prioritized that BKB be this fight. Um, just because of things like the glimpse, like the um, the damage coming out from the Queen of Pain, um, the Enchantress Enchant as well to slow down. Is that something that you may be... That didn't happen last game, you know? Oh, they steal the Meepo. Hang on. They have a max glimpse if they can catch the Meepo. Yeah, they do. If they get one of them, yeah, they're going to be able to pull Nura back. And Nura, I, ooh, he's not going to get, get all of this one. He poofed the rest of the Meepos back in to try and think, do something. I was wondering if they were going to look to go and roast there straight away, but they don't really take it that quickly. It's kind of just spe more space for the AM to keep farming up. Speaking of AM, what's he got himself? He's got close oh, to got the Battle Fury. And the DP. Oh, she's fine. But yeah, uh, Death Prophet, BKB, yes, no? Uh, I think she needs the armor first. Like, I don't even think BKB is that amazing this game. It, it's good, but like, it's not insane. Oh, Toby, Sonic Wave is going to be coming through. Cube gets pushed away, but Toby might still go down. The Snowball is going to be there. Yeah, the damage from the Mystic Snake, it's going to be enough. Sunlight Exorcism has been popped. Skylark, Salary being chased down. That damage is there. The Crypt Swarm as well is going to be able to try and want himself to keep himself healthy. Nora gets Aramis on the back lines. But Skylark, he gets the kill onto Salary. This exorcism is up. Did he, well, he's not going to move himself into the Roche Pit or anywhere close. Uh, it is about halfway through. It looks like he's happy just to carry on farming here. Goes for the magic resistance. Yeah, I, yeah, I think when you're playing this offlane DP and you're not playing core, the magic resistance is just a lot better. It's, it's pretty strong. Uh, I did it. The die kind of like stood, like stayed around there for so long. They didn't have Static Storm. They didn't have Shapeshift anymore. I kind of just thought they could stay there and take the fight anyway. I think Sunlight has his Yasha now as well. Like, he's getting really close to his first item. I think if he gets this Manta online, it's not like a massive deal, but he might not even go Manta first, actually. Like, he could go a little bit more greedy. Go for something that makes him a little bit more tanky, maybe. Uh, this Tusk, he's got himself the Clumsy now. I think that's really good. Um, yes, it, it stuns yourself up too. But, you know, if you can get that snowball in, just, like, direct face-to-face -face contact, it's the the thing that, I, you, you know, it's the six attributes and the plus two mana regen on top of that as well for the Tusk. That just seems so nice. Well, oh, AM's what? just dead. Really nice ward from the Radiant side. Just catches him out. 
It's going to be a big kinetic field static storm combo and the, the Queen of Pain will be able to blink away. Celery kills off Nora, but is he going to be able to get himself away from this? Aishard comes out onto Aramis now as well. Cube, the TP is going to be there. Just throw that. Well, he just goes for the punch. Yeah, not going to be able to get the, the kill, but the, the kill eventually comes up. The shape shift. Toby trying to do what he can, but there's going to be a great, great ultimate there by the Bat Rider. And now the chase is on. Cube still has that. Now the ice shards doesn't hit on anyone though. I mean, th th this, this is what I meant about, about the lasso. Like, at all points in the game, this lasso just absolutely destroys yeah. uh, the Lycan. Like, normally, when a Lycan runs into a fight, he's super scary, right? But if you can just get this like, really long piercing detection, uh, stun duration, sorry, it makes it really difficult. And the tag team absolutely destroys him at the moment because he has no armor on the Lycan. I guess it's the problem with the build, like the normal build-up he goes for with the Helm of Dom into the Necrobook and stuff. He's st still really squishy to the physical damage yeah. that can come through. I really Fan like this. For the Meepo. Oh, well. that is uh, any extra stats, any bonus stats. He's just he's queuing up the um, the Ethblade into the Scardy into the Heart. He is just going to go full survivability this match. Did you see? Do you call it Ethblade? Ethblade, yeah. Yeah, see, I used to call it F Blade, and I got flamed really hard because apparently it's E Blade. Yeah, is the, is the big one. Like people play with, it's like when I say F Blade, like what's an F Blade? An uh, what, F -blade. What, what's an F Blade? <laughs> no, F. F F F F the real. Um, but yeah, no, I always call it F blood. Yeah, no, I'm I'm glad I found somebody else that does as well. <laughs> that makes me happy. <laughs> so yeah, sunlight. He's got this Manta style now. What does he go for next on uh, Medusa here? Does he kind of follow a trend and go for a Scardy of his own, something like that? I don't like the Scardy. I don't think. I think you just go for like a damage item. I think at this point. So straight rapier. Yeah, he could even go for like, and uh, maybe not rapier necessarily, but um, I don't because he has imp claw actually. So he does like he has a damage item from his neutral. So, or they, they get the glimpse on the Dusa. Are they going to be able to get the kill off of Sunlight? It looks like he's just going to be able to... Yeah, just walks himself back. There is a lasso. A little bit of D1 on coming up. SSA Spartan is he going to go for the lasso. Is he just going to try and run himself away? Well, Sonic Wave is going to make that choice for him. The Yule Setter is going to be there. Toby's going to be able to get the kill. And now the Stone Gaze as well. It looks like the Blink Away Boom will be able to get him away oh, safely. No, Salary going to try and turn himself back in. There's going to be an Exorcism. The Glimpse Kinetic Field Static Storm as well. Medusa. Snowball might save her though. Drags her back into that Static Storm. But it's going to be such a long one that it doesn't really matter. It wears off before hand now as well Medusa well those ice shards not doing them any favors oh, there's gonna be the net that's great a great net coming through the poofs and Nora he might be able to clean up here there's gonna be Yul Scepter cupid has got a net of his own it is on cooldown now as well though the walrus punch it wasn't able to connect so now it will come through maybe onto Celery as Nora will be killed off by Celery now as well oh, back lines no. chase is on exorcism still there there's gonna be the clumsy net coming through now as well Toby skin of his teeth one more right click are they gonna be able to connect with this are they gonna be able to take on Skylock Skylock he can't get the kill Cube oh, will it, get it. They got it with the ice shots. Yeah, but it's going to be a risky one here for Cube. And now, finally, the lasso comes out. It's going to be able to claim that kill onto Boom now as well. Cube's going to try and do what he oh, can the with the snowball. Ooh, it's going to carry on going to Celery, though. One more impetus. It might be enough damage. Does he have the mana for it? He does have the mana for it. It's not on cooldown now as well. It does clean up the kill. <laughs> oh, I love that. All six cores die. And then it's just two against two in the supports. <laughs> That's amazing. Um, yeah, look. That's a really, really scrappy fight, though. I mean, uh, yeah. really well played by the Dutch side to pick off the Dusa first. Uh, great snowball save to keep her alive a little bit longer, because I think if the Dusa dies like straight away before the snowball, then that fight's completely different. But she manages to like bait out the fight a little bit longer so that the Meepo can then come in and finish off the AM. Um, Queen of Pain managed to survive a little bit longer than I thought she should have as well. But this Ench Celery just clicked away in the back line, though. Like the whole of that fight, he got completely untouched, and he was just doing these level four impetuses over and over again and just chunking through people. Like, his damage output in comparison to his net worth is so high. Well, I mean, it's the um, support build, isn't it? And I say support with air quotes around it because there's no nature's attendance picks up. You're just going straight for that impetus, you know, the enchant as well as the untouchable, keeping yourself alive. I mean, his net worth, you look at it, he's on 3.8k, so he doesn't have any big items. You know, he's got the hairdressing, now he's got the glimmer cape, so that's going to be able to help his cause survive. But a lot of it is um, the nuke damage that you put out from the enchantress. Yeah, I'm. They have to find and try and find a way of bringing her down. Also, that exorcism felt like so lackluster throughout the most of that fight. If the Lycan had got out there, I think that fight would have been so much better for the Dyer, but the uh, the Equip Swarm almost finished him off, but there was like a random ice shards that flew through uh, to finish him <laughs> off from, uh, from Cube. And there's an E Blade now on the Meepo. I really think 
This is like a, a big timing for them. They're about to get the uh, BKB on Medusa as well. They're actually just going to go for like a, a big timing in their lineup. They're going to have Exorcist. Oh, they might not be able to, oh, they they be able to though. There's going to be a snowball. There's going to be the, the static storm as well. The kinetic field exorcism was already off. There. The mana void on the back line. It's a six still alive. Boom, will he be able to kill off Skylark? So that's going to be no exorcism. Stonegate's coming through now as well. Celery just going to try and run himself away. These nets and Toby's going to go for the run now as well. It's only really the disruptor that gets caught out in the Stonegate. The nets oh, come the out nets. onto Toby. And Toby, is he going to be able to get himself away? Lycan, he is just dead. D E A D. Queen of oh, Pain, he's got the well. blink, he does have the blink up, but the Yule Scepter's going to be there. Do they have the Silence to keep him locked down? Silence will be there as well, there's enough burst damage, that's going to be a great fight. The buyback comes through from the Bat Rider as well as the uh, the Death Prophet. And they can, yeah, they can just rush here as well, this is super good. Like, they, they've just hit such a massive timing, it was a big uh, buyback from the two uh, Spartan and Skylark, the two Greeks. Because it just allows them to finish that fight. Because they know that with the timing that they have, if they can get this Aegis, like their lineup's so much stronger. And they've got a lasso as well. Yeah, this drag celery. back, the silence. The net's off the mark, though. It looks like SSA Spartan's going to be able to chase down with the Crypt Swarm as well as the Drain from Skylark. And this is going to be a Meepo with an Aegis. This is going to be scurry, scurry stuff. AM's doing the right thing, though, by just trying to split the map up at the same time. Like, he needs to just force the waves in here. Like, they, they, I don't think they can fight at the moment on the die side now while this Aegis is up. It's really difficult, and I love that Deuce has just got the Rapier queued up now. Like, it, the problem is if this game goes, like, really late, then the AM obviously has the favour over the Deuce, I would say. Like, yeah. Deuce is not a bad hero necessarily, but, you know, AM gets man to basher, and like a butterfly, eventually the Deuce is going to really struggle. But if you just go for this Rapier timing, where, like, you build these these items that allow you to uh, just group up and go, and, like, protect your Deuce, you're going to be really strong because like, you have the snowball save as well. I would have really liked to have seen something like a solar crest on the DP, maybe. But uh, like, like she had the Chivas queued up, and then she's like, she even bought the recipe, and now they've realised like, we, we'll just go BKBs. We'll just we'll go for this. Like we'll try and finish the game in the next what like eight minutes or so, maybe. That's going to be our timing. Does I mean, Anti Mage has got this butterfly queued up. But at some point, he's got to know that the Medusa's going to go for a rapier. Do, do, does he... Because the rapier, it gives true strike now. Um, shift on the Lycan. Oh, is he going to try and get himself out? There's going to be the Walsh Punch up to the other Snowball now as well. Nora does find the kill. And no Lycan for 45 seconds, buyback-wise. Yeah, it's down. He doesn't have the net worth for it. Um, do you think that the AM would be better off going for Heart here instead of the Butterfly? The best do something about that uh, I mean, Heart doesn't re He needs, like, a damage item, though, is the problem as yeah. well. It's so, like the butterfly's like a nice guy kind of go between because it's not just the deuce, remember, like it's the Meepo as well, which makes the evasion really nice. They've caught the Enchantress here as well, just trying to get some deep wards down, I think. Stonegates, yeah, I was just keeping an eye because uh, Sunlight's going to go for the TP. Oh, Yule Scepter comes out. Is there going to be any rotations through? Sunlight, he has to pop this BKB. He's going to go for the right list. He's going to try and keep himself alive for as long as possible. There is going to be the rotation there through, though. Comes comes the Sonic Wave now as well. The Meepo's going to be able to blink himself in, but the Nets come through now with that magic shield now. It's the Silence of the Queen of Pain. Queen of Pain being locked down. They are going to be able to find this kill. Queen of Pain, and now Anti Mage Shed to get himself away. The Juice Snowball alive. as well. Do they have the punch? He's going to be able to blink himself out of this. But Cupe's the eye shards go the wrong way, and it looks like Shad. He's just gonna be well, not if he stops to farm like this, but he should be fine. He shows in the lane. The chase is on. Meepo with the blink, he's gonna be able to get those nets off now. The silence as well. He just oh, he throw down the static storm as well for that. So that might give uh, away the disruptor. Yeah, I was gonna say they're going for Aramis as well here. If they can just guess the net. No. no. I was gonna say just guess the net, lol. But. <laughs> Just, just guess the net. Yeah, yeah, it's fine. Easy. It's a difficult one. Spartan's <laughs> finding Aramis down here, bot though as well. He's got the lasso. Oh no, Cubes though with the tag team. Yule Scepter's gonna be. Well, he's not okay. And this, like, they've just hit this massive time, and it feels like this. It's just the same as the like and off lane before as well. Like, you have these three cores that all do a lot of damage, and they, the but you have no like, no big control. Like, you have the static sword, which is really nice in these early engagements, but now the BKBs are out. You have no control on your team at all. And it's really difficult to take these engagements. And they've just hit this timing on the Radiant side with these items where so much of their gold is in like usable items. Yeah. DP's got BKB coming out as well. This Meepo's about to finish off his Scardi. Like, uh, they're so strong. I can't underestimate. I've said it so many times, but yeah. <laughs> Oh, Celery, I think they see him now as... Oh, no, okay, it's um, Dire Sentry. So they're definitely going to see him after the Glimmer Cape wears off. Snowball flies through there. There's going to be the Flame Break to push him back as well. Walrus Punch. 
and the, like it's it's so hard hard to play against this as well because they have so much catch on the radiant side now. They've got the the bat rider that's super quick with the tranquil's drums. You've got the blink on the tusk. And Boop has axe by the way, so the sonic wave is like whatever if you use it. Yeah. They really need to try and cut the wave. You see the centaur coming mid. They need to try and keep them off of their base. The dire might want to mine their top right. Oh, that centaur! It's not going to be. You'll start to come through now as well. This oh, is just no. a dead disruptor. And now Scarlet can come in with the Exorcism, Sunlight's going to be a, a, with the right clicks, yeah. And AM's going to try and, I don't know, split push this out, I mean, but he needs to... Do they just end? I think they do. This Exorcism, it's going to be going for a, a while now. It looks like they just want to be taking maybe Megas out of this. I think Lycan's just jungling, and AM's just pushing bot because they realise they can't fight. Like, they have no presence, because these BKBs just make the, their game so difficult now. Yeah, it's... I, 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 the game's just... The Is the game just over? Um, like Aramis finally buys back, but they've lost two sets to racks already. Their exorcism's out, so they really want to try and take a fight now, but they're like they're down to their bare bones. Yeah, the Nurse come through, it traps out Toby, the Stone Gaze is going to be there as well, at least he's going to be able to turn himself away from this. But this I'm looks like it's going to be Megas, yeah, Boom comes in, it's just... I, I don't know if he can turn this one around. Yeah, Celery looks like he's just going to be dead. The Walrus Punch does eventually come off. Sonic Wave there as well. Pushes a load of people out of the Static Storm. And it looks like the chase is on Skylock. He's actually going to be the frontliner, though. He needs to get himself away. Glimpse back onto Cube. Cube might pay with his life. Does have the Snowball, though, so it doesn't matter. matter. Shadow will be able to take down Sunlight, at least, as well. Skylock's going to be able to get that TP away. And Cube just buys time for the rest of his team to get out. But Megas... Like, but how did the dire start these fights? Like, like it was super awkward. Everyone just kind of walked in. I mean, like and pop shapeshift, and they're like, "Let's go!" But like, who do they focus? How do they go on anybody? Because like that was the best case scenario because exorcism wasn't up. Yeah. Um, um, if the exorcism is up, like the fights are completely different. And Re Dusa has like five thousand five hundred gold. Like she even changes from a rapier because she's like, "Well, I don't need to be so risky anymore. Like I could just play like a more safer option and go for this butterfly." How's... A boom? Okay, Spartan. Yeah, that was uh, even under an observer. That was still a good kill there for, for Viking GG. Look at top, though. Look at top. The Meepo's hunting. Oh, he's setting up for it. He's... Oh, he does no, his main away. one. Oh, his... oh, okay, his main one was in the base. I thought his main one was up top. He didn't have the blink for to initiate with. He's going to go for a heart now as well. Okay, they get themselves a tier 2. They need to keep the pressure Good. off their base. Which, unfortunately, with Magus, um, is going to be very hard to do if they're out of the, the lanes for too long. But, they're also 10k net worth down. Medusa has that full butterfly. I like how the Queen of Pain like, has the sonic wave the wave. Just to try and kill it. And it doesn't even finish it off because they're mega groups now. Like It's, it's just so sad. Yeah, it's not great. Um, oh, like if, if you're on the radiant side, though, you can do the same as last time, where you just wait for the second rush and like just don't commit to anything until it spawns, because the the dire are going to be the ones that have to deal with the waves the whole time, right? Yeah. There's no need for you to take a, a pointless fight. Well, I say well, I say pointless. But. Pointless, yeah. They're, they're looking to try and take down the enchantress net, even with the glimmer cape. It's gonna be there. The poofs come in. They oh, even get Toby. Oh, celery! The silence comes through onto the lichen now as well, so he's not gonna be able to transform. Are they gonna be able to get both of these kill? They take down Toby, and now the chase is on for celery. And that's. We, I, was I don't know who this Nora is, by the way. This is the guy that played TB in the last game as well, and he played really well. Like, I don't know who their carry player is. At this point, I don't know. I know sunlight's their mid, but I, I clicked on his profile and it's a Smurf as well. Oh, okay, okay. So I, I literally have no idea. Um, Shad takes the Ranger Axe bot, by the way. So step one. Yeah, he, he got... was at risk of dying though. That Meepo uh, jumped on him. Asso. And another person at risk of dying. So they have the sounds to follow up now as well. They do the Wolverine Punch punch as well as that Snowball. He's going to be able to blink himself into a Yule Step to those Static Storm. They just walk themselves out of that Kinetic Field. Crypt Swarm. One more right click with the Drain. And Skylark takes it now as well. Instant buyback. And there's no buyback there from the Disruptor. And Team Age has been spotted. There's going to be the Spider Lock. Says to say Spartan though. Needs to walk himself away because they're in the Mana Void. He's actually going to blink himself back into the high ground now as well. Oh, BKB's Snowball. actually popped in. It's going to be the Snowball from that Mana Shield. Um, it's a Magic Shield. Oh, but. I think aggressive mode, just go for the end, the walrus punch on the back lines now as well, the Nez comes Nez. out, Nora walks himself forward, the stone gaze, mana void, it goes onto sunlight, but sunlight's still alive, he's just right clicking everybody down, caught in those nets. 
Yeah, Queen of Pain's dead for 90, no buyback here. Yeah, Vikings just call GG. So, 31 minutes and 50 seconds in salary. Well, the push comes back and the base breaks. This, uh, uh, this Lycan 3 did not seem to work out for them this series. No. They kind of, it feels like they got a little bit, weak, like, greedy with their drafts maybe a little bit both times. Yeah, um... This Lycan 3 can work if you, like, build around it, okay, and you pick, like, a mid that isn't quite as greedy, so something like a Kunker maybe that can just run around and fight all the time. Like, Queen of Pain's okay, but she had a really rough start to the game. She went, like, 0-2-1 because of the rotations from aggressive mode just outplayed them. Um, and this is what I mean, like, if they're playing from in front, this Viking side, they look really good. Yeah. But as soon as they start to fall behind, their lineup's, like, really lackluster. They had, like, that good five minutes or so where they were playing really aggressive on the map before, and they were taking towers before um, aggressive mode had any items or so. Like, Deuce was still level nine. Like, Meepo didn't have blink yet. But as soon as Nora got blink on the Meepo, like, they, they just went, and they never really looked back. Kind of, it was really difficult for Vikings to ever play the game after that. Well... Aggressive mode, they're going to take it in two. Looked very impressive today. Vikings, like you say, the, the drafts, the idea is there. Uh, maybe they just need a few more scrims to get the execution down. But that is going to be the series for today, guys. It was only the one best of three. Let me check the schedule. Let me double check on the schedule what's coming up. Okay, so it was just the one best of three today. The next game is going to be between Aggressive Mode and Cyber Legacy on Sunday at 1600 CET. So... 29th, 1600 CET. That is going to be the next match. Guys, um, Mo, have you enjoyed it today? Because I really like these matches. Hopefully, you know, there was something entertaining for you today as well. Yeah, it's really good. I haven't been able to cast any games in a while either. So it's been nice to, you know, get back into the swing of things again. And uh, it, it's always nice to see aggressive mode play. I think I feel, I re I feel really bad for uh, Spartan because, oh, and Skylark as well, I guess. But like they've they've been trying to build these rosters all the time, and I know Spartan's been complaining about it. Like all his players just keep getting poached. Like as soon as he starts to try and build anything up, because they're not like an actual org, right? Yeah. So they have no protection for their players, um, and so he seems to be doing wonders all the time. Considering like they uh, he keeps having to rebuild new rosters all the time. 